sweeping onrush of fire, the awful finality of drought, and the sudden tragedy of poisoned grazing grounds. The struggle to ford a flooding river, towing a horse that doesn't like to swim where crocodiles live. A thousand head of cattle are going overland across the true Australia. What was the overwhelming necessity that took this cavalcade across the toughest going on earth? The brilliant young director, Harry Watt, took a small film unit across this grim country to find out. The spirit of a great and young continent breathes in every exciting minute of this picture, with a new star with a different kind of personality, tough Chips Rafferty. And a new kind of girlfriend too, with the compelling beauty of flying fleecy clouds against a brilliant sky, Daphne Campbell. Hello there. Australia's Northern Territory is an endless deserted waste with unexpected patches of beauty. And across those scorching plainlands, Dan drove his great herd of cattle the distance from London to Moscow. Can you wonder that tempers grew short? Well, we think this trip's crazy anyway. You're likely to lose the whole lot, horses and all, so we're getting out. Yes, they met every kind of trouble, from cattle getting bogged in swampy ground to a panic leap to disaster. There's hard riding in it spiced with a humour that happens to real people and maddens them. And on this long trail, they also found romance. Overlanding is driving cattle across half a continent, even if they sometimes turn and drive the drovers. A story of man's determination to achieve the impossible, with two new stars that give you a picture of the real Australia, Chips Rafferty as Dan and Australia's outdoor girl, delightful Daphne Campbell as Mary. Mm -hmm. 